what we're doing is a the, the fastest and simplest system to get leads for any kind of business. And the way it works is this basically three-step process. You run an ad and say, hey, if you are interested in, in a certain topic, whatever topic you are promoting, then click this ad in order to get this free thing. Could be a free training, a free ebook, et cetera. And then they'll click the ad, they'll go to a page and the page will say, tell me where to send your free thing and ask for their name and email address. And then they submit their name and email address and then they go to a page that has the free thing, which is called a lead magnet. That's this LM step here. So last week we talked about how to put together a lead magnet. If you weren't there, don't worry, we can you can go back to that later and, and it, let me know if you need the recording from a previous session, by the way, I do keep all the recordings. So once we have our lead magnet, then the, we're, we're kind of creating this backwards, right? So we started by creating the lead magnet. And if you, again, if you don't have one, don't worry, we'll just have an idea of one is fine. But today we're going to create the this opt-in page and actually the whole sequence that that they go through, right? So there's going to be an opt-in page, then there's going to be a confirmation page, and then also there's going to be an email automation that sends them the lead magnet. So I'm going to show you how to put together all of that today. Now, there's a bunch of different programs that you can use to build out this kind of thing. And it used to be that you'd have to have separate programs for this, like you'd have a page builder program and then an email manager program. But now there are softwares that kind of let you do that all in one package. The one that I use is called Kartra. It's not the only one. There's, there's other ones that'll do the same thing. But I prefer Kartra over the alternatives because it has the, the most features at the best price. And so I definitely recommend that you follow along and that you actually do this. And you don't have to do it right now, but I do recommend that you do it that you create the pages so that you get it ingrained into you how to do this because it's really easy to just kind of forget about it if you watch somebody else do it but if you actually do it yourself then you really you really learn it to a much greater extent and, and even if you don't remember it a year from now or whenever you want to do the thing you remember that you were able to do it in the past and that gives you a much higher degree of confidence. So whatever you learn, if it's important to you, I always, always recommend that you apply it in some way. So if you would like to follow along, you can get a, let me give you a link in the chat. You can get a 30 day trial of Kartra for just a dollar. And then after that, you have to pay the, the basic package is fine. It's $97 a month, I think, or I think they might have just raised it. It's around $100 a month. But if you just want to practice it now and you want to you just want to cancel the membership before you have to pay for it, then no worries. Go to chrisshoop.com slash Kartra. That's my personal affiliate link. I arranged it so that you could get a 30-day trial, whereas if you go through their normal website, you only get a 14-day trial. So... If you're interested in that, or if you have, if you already have an account with ClickFunnels or Go High Level or one of those other alternatives, then you can create this in that software too. That's no problem at all. And then, oh, and then what we create today, we're gonna kind of go through it together. And the thing that we create, I'm going to actually share with you. So anybody that has a Kartra account, you can just copy and paste it into your own account for free and start from there. That way you're just kind of modifying what's already built rather than having to build it all from scratch. So does that sound good? But give me a give me a one in the chat if if you're with me so far. Awesome. So let me bring up Kartra here. I guess I have to get rid of this whiteboard first. Okay, so this is Kartra and it does just about anything that you could possibly think of in terms of marketing. So we're gonna be primarily interested today in pages, right? That's where we put together web pages. 
And as you're going to see, there's you don't need any fancy technical skills for this. It's all drag and drop. It's very basic. And then communications is the other section. So communications means you can send automatic emails. You can send a blast email that's like a one-time thing, or you can set up email sequences. So that means that the person signs up and then they get an automatic email immediately. And then the next day they get an email, the next week they get an email, however you want to set it up. So we will start with pages. And we're, we'll start by doing a thank you page. So the thank you page is the page after the person opts in, after they, they sign up for your free thing, the thank you page will tell them how to get the free thing or like what to expect. They're just kind of confirm, say, hey, we got your, your contact information. You'll be getting your free thing in the email. Or if you want, you could just have a link to the free thing on the page. Or if it's a video, you could have it embedded in the page. There's a few different ways to do it. And it's not, it's not a big deal which one it is. But we're going to start with the thank you page because we're kind of going backwards through the series, right? Because in order to, when you have an opt-in page, you need to say, like, where does that opt-in page point to? And if you don't have a thank you page yet, then you can't fill that in. So I like to start backwards. So let's actually, let's start. I'm going to create a new site here. And I'm going to say it, let's say, let's call it. RM example. A site is just a collection of pages. It's just for organization. You don't need to do this at all if you don't want. But as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of sites here, so I, I need to keep organized. So there are no pages yet. So I'm going to hit add a page. And I've got a whole bunch of templates that I can choose from and normally I just keep it very simple so oh and look at that there's a simple clean thank you I'll start with that one why not so this is going to be I'll just call it rm example thank you page and this will be under the site RM example. I always leave categories, no category, and then hit create. Now we should probably do this to some sort of example business. So anybody want to volunteer what is the business that you're working on or what is the business that you have in mind? And I will use your example. In the meantime, I'm just going to delete most of this stuff. Julian says communication online training. Okay, cool. We can use yours. Can you be more specific? It's communication to do what and like for whom? How to communicate to inspire an audience. Okay, that's cool. And like who... In how to build your own house. That's cool. I like that one too, but, but Julian beat you to it. It's okay. Science communications for science. That's right. Yeah. We talked about this. Okay. That's a good one. Let's do it. So first thing is I'm just going to, um, oh, okay. And it even gives you a download button. That's kind of cool. And there's social media buttons you can use if you want. I never really do. And then Put a footer if you want. Um, and so I'm just kind of deleting things at the moment. And so there's everything here is organized into sections and columns. And so this is the section. So it looks like it's all in only one section. And then if I want to see columns, I have to click on here. Don't worry too much about the specifics of this for now. But I'm going to delete this, delete this, delete this. And let's actually get rid of the download button too. I'll go back to components. And I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, thank you for our, let's say, uh, we've got your info. 
your free guide. Do, Julian, do you already have a lead magnet or or like an idea for a lead magnet? For now, I'll just say your free guide is on its way or ebook. Okay. Your ebook is on its way to your email now. Okay, cool. And that could literally be it for a thank you page. Right? If you want, you could have a link to the ebook right here. If if you definitely want them to read it, that's a, a better way to get them to read it is have the link. Or if you want, you could have a video that talks about the ebook, or you could have something that kind of pushes them to the next page in the next part of the sales process, which we are not really, we're not diving that in depth because this this series is all about getting leads. So I'm not going to try to get into like later on in the sales process. But this is good enough, right? You're just saying, like confirming, you're doing two things. You're one, confirming that you successfully registered the person. And two, you're telling them what to expect next, like how to get their free thing that they signed up for. So by just saying it's on its way to your email, they know, okay, I just go to the email. So that's it for the thank you page. One more little thing. So we go to settings and SEO parameters. And then this is the page title, like the page title that shows up here. And I like to just say, uh, like confirmation. That's what I usually put on the page title. And then I just copy and paste this in all of these. I put my own name for author. And then that's it. Just so it's, I, I don't even know what most of these are for. I think they're for search engine optimization, which I don't really do much with, with these kind of pages. So it's, when somebody opens it, it should say confirmation up there. In fact, I can test that real quick. I'll hit publish live here, get the page link. I'll copy this and paste it into my browser. And sure enough, it says confirmation up here. And that's what it looks like. Right. And you probably also want to test what everything looks like on mobile, just because a lot of people are accessing these from their phones these days. So that's what it looks like on a phone. It looks fine. Sometimes it's a little weird to like, it looks good on the computer, but it looks bad on the phone. And then you go mess with it for the phone and then it makes it look bad on the computer. <laughs> I, I generally like to give priority to mobile because it seems like these days, most of the traffic is coming from mobile. Anyway, so that is the thank you page. I'm gonna go ahead and publish that, which I think I already did. And then I'm gonna return to dashboard. Okay, so now if I go over to RM example, we now have our thank you page. At this point, we need an opt-in page. So I'm just going to duplicate this or clone it, which just makes another page that looks like the same. And I'm gonna call this RM example opt-in page, same site here, hit clone. Give it just a moment. Okay, and so for this one, I'm going to turn this into a headline, which actually I think I need to mess with the columns here. But it's gonna let me. It's kind of lagging. There we go. Okay, or maybe I need to add a new column. This will, you can avoid all this part if you just drag mine in, if you use mine. Okay, there we go. So now I've got a new column that's like a full width. I'm gonna drag this up into my new column. 
There we go. So this is, you can have a column that's a partial width that's not the full width, or you can have like a double column. So you can have some on the left and some on the right, et cetera. For now, I'm just gonna kind of make everything in the center. And actually I'm gonna keep this because it looks better on the form. So this is going to be your headline right here. And Let me mess with this settings to make it kind of go up to the top more. That wasn't really it. Hmm. It's weird that this is so low. I don't usually use their templates. Anyway. We won't worry about that for now. So you put your headline and then you want to put a form, which actually I neglected to create the form. I was supposed to do that first. So let me, I'm gonna hit publish live, which by the way is what you always have to do to, to save it essentially. And then return to dashboard. I'm gonna go create a form and then I'm gonna come back. So forms are very easy. Just click on forms over here. The form is just the the inputs and the button that they that lets people sign up. So I'm going to click plus forms. Say rm example form create and. Okay, and so it already gives us first name and email. That's the default. We can mess with that if we want, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. I think that's fine. Hit save. Save and next. Uh, I always do single opt-in. That's good. And then the success page. That is just the thank you page. So I'm going to select a Kartra page. You can send it to a page that's outside of Kartra too. Like if you already have a website, you can do that if you want. I'm going to put the Kartra page site is, what was it? RM example page is example thank you page. Okay. Save and next. Nothing there. Subscribe to lists. We should do that. So a list is just a group of contact information. So whenever you get people that opt in for the same offer, you generally you want to put them on the same list. So I'm going to, yes, subscribe to list. I don't have one yet, so I'm going to click on create new list down here. And I'm going to call it RM example list. And I got to give it a public description. So that's what people are going to see. So let's see what Julian said. Okay, so science, communication, skills, right? So that's what people will see as the list if they go into their subscription settings. Okay, hit add, save. And then that's good there. I will use the form another cartridge asset. Yes, save that, save and next. Okay, so now we're done. Okay, now we can go back to our opt-in page, which is right here. We'll edit it. And we will grab a component which is a form, well, which is actually, they call it opt-in fields. It'd be better if they called it form, it would be less confusing, but they call it opt-in fields. And then you can choose kind of a style. I just choose the first one normally. And I'm gonna drop it. I can drop it in these, I have multiple places. I'm gonna drop it in this, this thinner column, this more narrow column. And then, okay, so it gives me a placeholder. I'm going to click the little edit style thing up here, and then I'm going to choose the form that I want, which was called RM example form. Hit apply. 
And then there's some things that I can do to mess with the style. So I can make the margin bigger. It'll just drag it down a little bit, like from the headline. I can, what else? I can make the button a different color. Say I want to make it green. Now it's green. It's pretty ugly. I'll make it darker green. That's better. Uh, make the, <clears throat> maybe a better, better, button text and submit, let's say, get, like, send me the free ebook, ebook. And maybe I'll bold it. There's a whole bunch of design stuff that you can do. It really doesn't matter a whole lot. People are interested more in the information than what color button you have. <laughs> At least that's my, has been my experience. And then I'll make a copy of that headline and drag it down under here. And I found that it helps to give a give a little disclaimer. I'm making it smaller. That says, I will never spam you or sell your information. And then it, you can, like some people make it a little bit humorous. It said, like... Um, like some dirty communist. <laughs> you can add that if you want, but the idea is that you're you're trying to quell people's fears that you're just going to spam them all the time or you're going to sell their information to a million different spam marketers and stuff. So it gives people a little bit of reassurance. So that's pretty much all you need. Now, the most important part of this by far is the headline right here. And writing a good headline is a bit of an art. So I wanna, let's see if we can, if we can workshop a better headline here and, and feel free to, to give some ideas if you like. Generally, you wanna make it emotionally compelling. You wanna say, get this free ebook that's going to give you this thing that you want to get it's going to have this benefit in your life and overcome this challenge that you're dealing with or it's and it's not going to make you have to do these things that you don't like to do or you can do it even if you are in xyz situation like whatever the person thinks you want to kind of get an idea of what are the objections in a person's head and if you've taken any of my courses, you know that I'm really big on market research, like actually studying what is in people's heads before you build anything like this. But for the sake of this one, we'll just kind of give an example here. So we have, it's okay. So we're science communications for sciences. So like how, so, or let's say, let's say get your free ebook. And then I'm gonna clone that. This will be like a like a little header. I'll make that a little smaller. And maybe give maybe make it a different color, like that greenish color. There you go. And then down here I'll say the simple five-step method to, to communicating scientific ideas to a non-scientific audience. Right, and so I don't know the, the details of Julian's product, but something like that. And then we can also, if we want, we can add more information. Like sometimes I'll add a sub headline or sometimes I'll add headline down here or some kind of more information about what they're gonna get if I think that it's going to be helpful. So Julian, any idea what is what do you think people's biggest objection would be? Like if people see, okay, the simple five-step method of communicating scientific ideas to a non-scientific audience, what's the first reason in their head as to why this isn't going to work? Lack of time. Awesome. Okay. So I can put, I can, I can say that, let's say, even busy professors can set up in 
an hour a week. Right, like a subheadline that's kind of addressing that objection that, hey, do you have, I mean, you don't have a lot of time, you might be busy, but you probably have at least an hour a week, right? That's not asking very much. And, you know, that obviously you want this to be actually true. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to start your, your client or your prospect relationship by lying to somebody. But you can frame it in, in whatever way is it makes it seem the most palatable to the person. Okay. And then it, you could even mess with this and make it instead of like some dirty communist, it's like um, some dirty art professor. <laughs> I don't know. Who, who do scientists dislike? Like who's their, who they look down on? That would, that might work. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. And you can you can definitely you can include more information. You can include pictures if like you have something that proves it and if you have if you have like what could you say? Maybe maybe you have a whole bunch of subscribers on your science YouTube channel, right? You could have a screenshot of all your your YouTube subscribers. That would lend credibility. So there's a bunch you could do here. But with just a headline in a form, that's really all you need. And sometimes less is more. Like I've noticed that a lot of times I just have a really, really basic page like this actually performs better than if I have a bunch of pictures and a bunch of extra text and stuff. So, okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, the only other thing is this tracking code or not tracking code, sorry, SEO parameters. So that's again, this this little title up here. So instead of confirmation, we're going to say, let's see, science communication workbook. Right, that's that's what Julian says the name of it. So let's let's just make that all of our titles and descriptions and whatnot and hit apply. And then, okay. And that should basically do it. So let's publish this live. And, oh, one thing I forgot, I forget this a lot. Look at it on mobile. Ooh, see, this doesn't, it, it looks nice on the desktop, but on mobile, this looks kind of bad. So I'm gonna make this text smaller because this does not look great. And sometimes it's a little wonky. Like I, it was on two and I put it on two again. And I like the last one better. Okay, let's leave it on two. So that doesn't look too bad. See on desktop, that still looks the same. Cool. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like that, I'm happy with that. So we'll publish live. And then return to dashboard. And Julian says, I'm not sure if I would be negative about any of it. Well, well, good for you. But I, I bet if you look deep enough, you probably find that there's a certain class of people or institutions that, that scientists dislike. Maybe it's like the school administrators or something. And knowing who or what your audience dislikes is a big is a big cheat code, by the way, right? Because if you can express your dislike for the same people, well, that it's the end of the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? So that it gets people to to kind of bond with you quickly. Anyway, and you don't have to be like abusive, but just kind of like an offhand joke about art professors. That's, that's all I was getting at there. Anyway, so where was I? Okay, now we need the email. So we'll go to over to communications. And I will hit now I need a, a new sequence. So up here at the top communications and sequences. So sequence is basically an automation. These are a group of emails or text messages that somebody gets just 
by triggering the sequence. So they do something and then they're, they get all of these emails automatically. I'm gonna hit plus sequence and we're gonna call it RM example sequence. Now the public gets a description of this as well. So scientific communication skills, call it again. You know, something that they would recognize because they're gonna see RM example sequence, that means nothing to them. Scientific communication skills, that actually makes sense. So I will create the sequence. And first we're gonna create a starting rule. So this is what triggers the sequence. What happens that makes somebody join the sequence? So I'm gonna click the plus. Really there's two ways to do this normally, either an opt-in form or a list. So opt-in form means when somebody fills out your opt-in form, then they trigger the sequence. List means when somebody joins a list, then they trigger the sequence. And so for our case, they're basically the same, but it may be in the future that you make multiple variants of this opt-in form. They go to the same list. So I'm gonna choose list. And we're gonna take our our list that we just created, this RM example list. Add, save. Okay, so this is our trigger that's set up. Now we gotta say once the once somebody triggers this, what happens? Like what what do they what do they get? And so we don't have SMS set up, and that's a whole different can of worms. We're just gonna stick with email here. But I'll go so send email. And you so you can do right after previous step. That means they'll get the email immediately. Or I can do wait a number of days or hours. So if I wanna send the email an hour later, then I can do that. If I wanna send it a day later, I can do that, et cetera. But for this one, generally you wanna do immediately. So we'll leave it on right after previous step. Next, any time of day, all days allowed. I just leave as is. Name of the broadcast. So this is just an internal name that you're gonna use for the email. So let's say RM example confirmation email. Next, now the gateway is going to be Cartra mail, this is your sender name, then and you can put this to whatever you want. So so um you have like people people do funny stuff with this. They put like stinky rice or something <laughs> as their name. If you want to mess with that, you can, but I generally just put my name. And then the email is whatever email that you are that you want to see as it's sent from. So for me, it's this chris at dominatethemarketplace.net. That's what I usually use. And then reply to email is if somebody replies to the email, where will it go? And so usually I put same thing, right? Because I use that email address. So I'll hit next and then send to anyone reaching this step. And then I usually click this ignore GDPR and CCPA. This is some like European and California laws about, about who you're allowed to email and stuff. And I don't live in either Europe or California, so I kind of ignore it. <laughs> Hit add. And then next, put a single email. You can do a split test, which if you wanna test two different emails and see which one works better, then that's cool, but I'm not gonna do that here. Next. And then finally, the content. So here we're gonna write the subject. The subject line of the email is going to be, I like to put something like confirmed, um, or let's say your ebook download within brackets, and then what was it called? The science, yeah, science communication workbook. Science communication workbook. And then you can say, you can grab their first name here and say, hi, paste that. Oops, that didn't work. There, hi, first name. So this will just insert their first name. 
and we'll say, here is your free download of the science communication workbook. And then you can make that a download link. And then you can, you can just turn that into a link here and you can link to like a Google Drive or a Dropbox or actually now even Kartra hosts files so you don't have to do that. Or you can even attach it, right? You can just hit attach and they'll save as an attachment. Whatever way you do, it really doesn't matter. And then I always like to kind of sell it a little bit because what happens a lot is that people will opt into the thing and they'll say, oh, that sounds cool. And then they, but they won't read it right away. And then they'll get their email like hours later and they kind of forgot why they were interested and they don't really, they never read the thing. They never read your ebook. So I'd like to kind of resell it. So you say like, this is the definitive guide for any scientist who wants to reach a lay audience. It's like, and you could even kind of pile on even more. It's like before learning things included in this guide, I was stuck in a professorship and here's all the reasons my life sucked. But after I figured out how to reach a non-scientific audience, I've been featured on podcasts and traveled the world and whatever, like why your life is amazing now. And, and you don't have to do it exactly this way, but basically I'm just kind of building some desire that might've been lost because they forgot why they opted in the first place. So here's, you know, here are the, the, the pain points of not having what's in this ebook and here are the benefits of having what's in the ebook. And then if you like, if you have some kind of call to action, like, Let's say that your company is, is one that uh, maybe in this case, it's to, I, I'm not sure what, what Julian's product is, but let's say it's a, it's a personal coaching. So you can say something like, by the way, if you want to skip the learning curve oops, yeah, and have me work with you directly, to set up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then click the link below, answer a few questions, and we'll see how we can help, right? And then put like application link. And then again, you put a link there to whatever's your application page. So again, if you're just collecting leads, you don't have to do that step, but, um, it's it's really up to you. If you've got the person's attention, my philosophy is that you try to use it for something if possible. But if you don't have anything at this point, then no, no problem. So that's it for the email, basically. And then, oh, and then there's this preview text. If you look in, in your normal email account, usually you see the subject line. And then before you open the email, you see like the first few words of the email at least like if you're looking in Gmail, it does that. And so it'll show you this, it'll show you the subject line and then it'll show you the first few words. Well, what you can do is if you don't want them to see the first few words, if you have something that you think will be better at getting them to open the email, you can write that in here instead, which I usually don't, but every once in a while I do if I think that this is kind of boring and I, I think I can write something better. So, that's it. I'm going to hit next and I will create it. So it's currently inactive. So I have to click on activate and then I have to drag this little arrow from the triggering step to this thing, to this email. And then if I want to add more emails, I can add like another one below it here, which, and maybe I wait like a day. I send this the next day and I'm not going to go through all that right now, but if I wanted to, I could. 
So currently what we've got set up is we've got the confirmation email that will send to them automatically and give the, it will give the, the lead magnet automatically without you having to do anything manually, which is pretty cool. So I will click done and exit. And then that sequence is ready. So at this point, I believe we have everything. I think this is all built out. So let me, this, this part is important. We want to test it. So I'm going to go over to pages and what is it? RM example. And then RM example opt-in page. I'm going to get the code or link, which by the way, you can put to, you can put on, on your own domain, right? So this cshoop32.cartra.com, that's just kind of the default domain, but I have my own domains in here. Like if I want to put it on dominate the marketplace.net slash RM example, then all of a sudden it goes to this domain. So I'm going to copy that, I'm going to paste it up here and take a look at it. Okay. So this looks pretty good. It says get your free ebook. You know, that's everything that we already saw. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my name and my, I, I put a different email address than the email address that I send from just because the email provider thinks it's weird if it's receiving an email that says it's from itself. <laughs> so this is just my personal email and I'll hit send me the free ebook. And then sure enough, we got your info, your ebook is on its way to your email now. So that part all works. And then I would go check my email as well, make sure that it came through on my email. And then if I go over to communications, it should show up here, which it's not for me because I'm already in the system. But if I go over, if I search myself, and I go over to lists. I'm on a lot of lists here. <laughs> it's RM, what is it? RM example list, sure enough. So I am signed up for that. And then if I go over to this log thing here, it shows all of the individual actions that happen with that user, which is one of the reasons that I love Kartra because it's it really is good for troubleshooting. So, okay, so it shows that I visited this page this RM example opt-in page. Then I completed the example form. Then I visited the thank you page. It subscribed me to the list and it subscribed me to the sequence. So perfect. It looks like everything went right. It should say if it sent me the email though, which I don't see yet. I think it did. It just doesn't say because it's part of the sequence. But anyway, so for now I'm, I'm good with that. And so that's it. That is how to set up the full system. I did that in about 45 minutes. It'll probably take you a little bit longer if you're new to this, but let me let me actually share this with you. So you don't need to do this part. I have to do this part, but I just go to my campaigns. And so I can I can just give you all of the pages and the email list and like everything that I just put together, I can give it to you all at once. So if you have a Kartra account, then you can use it. So I'm gonna call it RM example share funnel and just call it the same thing in the campaign description. Campaign author is Chris Shoop, create. Okay, don't care about a thumbnail. Okay, so I have to give you all the assets that are included. So that is going to be a list, right? RM example list, that's gonna be one of the assets. There are pages, which are the opt-in page and the RM example, thank you page. There is a sequence, which is this RM example sequence. 
there is a form, RM example form, and anything else here? I think that's it. Yes, that's it. Save, save and next. Keep it private, yeah. So you guys will be the only ones that have access to this. Okay, so campaign has been saved. Go to my campaigns. And then I click on share. And generate share code, generate code. Oops, I have two codes, I don't need two codes. Okay, just have one code. Close, how do I get my code? I've only done this a couple of times. Oh, okay, so it's just this, I just copy this. And then I'm gonna give this to all of you guys here. And this is now, if you want to import my campaign that I just created, what you would do is go to available campaigns, import, and you would just paste that code right in here and then it would import into your account and you could use it just like it is. And then you can, it'll, it'll work, like everything's working. You just have to just change the wording or change your images or change your emails. Um, but all the automation is gonna be worked for you. And Okay, so you got a message from John. Chris had to be at the counter. It works. So listen till now. Will there be a replay? Yes. Send me an email and I will send you the replay, the replay link. I'll get it up probably tonight or tomorrow. And so, yeah, that's it for today. And just one, let's see, let me let me give you the, the homework for today. Because again, I, I always... I always recommend if you learn something new, actually apply it. So I'm gonna show you how to apply the things that you just learned here. So the first thing is to load my, load my funnel, right? That's those web pages. that's this available campaigns import. That's what I just told you. And then second is modify it for your business. And if you don't have a business already, that's fine. Just just come up with a business in your head that you could do, right? Think, you know, oh, I've always wanted to teach guitar lessons. Then fine. Or maybe you haven't always wanted to, but it's the first business that comes to mind. Or maybe the plumber came over yesterday. So do it for a plumber, <laughs> right? It doesn't, you don't have to actually use this. It's just practice. If, I mean, if you do have a business, then by all means do it for your business, but otherwise, it's just practice. So that's it. And then last thing is, of course, please do me a favor and rate the session. As always, I thrive on feedback. If you can help me with feedback at all, then it just, you know, tell me what you thought. That would be a great help to me and I would very much appreciate it. Here's the link for that. And Julian says, thanks, Chris. I already have an account with Podia doing this for my workbook. My challenge is to keep promoting it to my list and expanding the list consistently. Great to get a reminder of the system. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I, I've never used Podia before, but I'm guessing it probably does similar things. If you want to set it up there, then, then totally cool. So yeah, that's it for me. Anybody got any questions? Anything uh, that was a little bit went through that kind of fast and it was kind of a lot. So if I if I lost you, feel free to bring me back to earth here. You're very welcome, John and Melissa. I appreciate it. Julian says, looks complicated at first, but basically it's the same structure, so worth the learning. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, you get to the, once you've done it a few times, like I just did that in 45 minutes with, with explaining it the whole way. 
right? If I wasn't explaining it, I probably would have gotten it done in 20 minutes. You get, you, it's, it's not very difficult. It's just kind of a lot to remember, but once you get it, it's very simple. You're very welcome, Julian. And cool. So if there's no questions, then I will go ahead and wrap up. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. And we will see you next week at the same time, same place. Bye, everybody.